Hi, right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my first video review for the first action figure of the Walking Dead Series 5 television series from McFarland Toys. This one will be a review of Glenn Ree. All right, great. So I thought he was a good one to go ahead and kick off my reviews for The Walking Dead fifth television series set of figures released by McFarlane Toys uh, with Glenn. Now, they have released a version of Glenn before, the comic book series version, which he has the uh, the shaved head and he had on the uh, the riot gear, which was a cool, it was a cool figure, I think, personally. Um, but for me, I actually prefer the Steven Yoon television series version of Glenn over that comic book series version. Uh, when I think about Glenn or the character, I immediately see Steven Yoon's face, even though they are very similar. In a lot of frames, Steven Yoon, like his expressions and stuff, he'll look exactly like uh, Glenn for the comic book series, which is cool. But uh, personally, this is the way I think of Glenn because, you know, this is how he is in the comic book or the television series right now, basically. Now, as you can see, the figure does come with this lead pipe, which is really cool, uh, and he does hold it really well. It's got a bloody tip to it at the end there, as you can see, and um, it, it looks really good. It's a good length, too, and I remember him holding this in the uh, television series. Some of the promo picks for uh, season four, he had this big lead pipe, and he would use it through the uh, fence at the prison to kill walkers. So that's really cool. Uh, the face sculpt on him uh, I think is pretty good. I'll put um, some links in the description to some pictures so you guys can go ahead and uh, you know see what he looks like in more detail. But I'll change the, uh, the focus here so you guys can kind of get a better look at him than me. Yeah, I think the face sculpt is pretty good. I think that's pretty spot on. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. And uh, he does come with two heads. He comes with that head, and he also comes with a bloody beaten up head, which is really cool. Uh, you guys remember season three with uh, Merle? Um, when Merle put a whooping on him? Yeah, that's really cool. It, it looks just like it. It looks just like when, uh, when Merle uh, beat him up and they took them hostage, Maggie and him and everything so uh, so that's a cool head you can interchange him with this one I'll probably display it with this one though because most of the time this is how he looks um, and as you can see like I said he holds the lead pipe really well so that's the first main accessory we'll go over the accessories first I guess so really good job on the pipe it looks great it looks just like it was in the TV series they also threw in a assault rifle with him which is the same kind of assault rifle they've thrown in um, quite a bit with a lot of the other characters like for example Maggie she's got one got it right here she's got it over her uh, over her shoulder oops it fell down there so you can see that one right there it's the same one same one with uh, Merle I think and it's cool it looks good kind of as a display piece for them to kind of have it over their shoulder type thing so that's cool he also comes with a uh, removable SWAT gear type riot gear vest type of thing which is really nice you see the detailing on that it's got some different uh, colors in it some different uh, paint with uh, just some smudges a little bit of white in there to kind of look at make it look a little tattered and it clips on at the side there with those little holes and and this here but for mine for some reason doesn't seem to sit all that well when i try to attach it it goes through but it pops out really easily and it just clips on the sides the back of it's really cool it looks good it's got kind of a nice little pattern there and i think this is the same one they've used previously but I'm not quite sure because uh, this is the only figure I have that has the ride gear. I know they did a Governor, they did um, another comic series Glenn, they did the uh, uh, zombies from the prison, so there's been a few different ones like that. But I think he looks really cool. Um, the clothes look good, very natural looking on the figure, which is cool. There's some good sculpting at the top there and sort of where it, where it kind of comes in there with the, with the white shirt underneath. Looks real good. Um, the articulation is the same as the Merle. Um, so you've got at the, at the bottom here of the pants, you've got this kind of uh, strange cut right here that kind of, that's about as far up as you can get it to go, like, you know, yeah, something like that. So we can't really throw high kicks, but at the same time he can, you know, pose really, really well for, you know, stabbing with a pipe or shooting or running or, or things like that. So that's good. And the pants, I do like quite a bit. I think the pants look really good, really nice effect on them really looks good. Articulation's not too bad. You can get them in most poses you'd want to. And it is an improvement because earlier on in the McFarlane figures, the articulation was really bad on some of them. They would they would hardly be able to move at all and still be able to stand. So I do like that. Um, 
good range of motion there at the knee. At the bottom of the boots here, you can there's a there's a slight rock, not much, and then there's a swivel left to right. You can move the foot. So or the boots, and the boots are pretty good. I, I do like the um, the shading on the boots. They look pretty good. So pretty good detail all around, I think. Um, let's see the range of motion up top. He does have a slight turn at the at the uh, the waist but it's it's really it's really tight on mine now the shirt does kind of it doesn't really hinder it but it, it just makes it really tight to move but he, he still can kind of you know go left to right a little bit so that's good uh shoulders joint there ball joint right there which is good you know so we can get all that different range um and the same type of joint at uh, the knee little, these, these tiny ratchet they're like ratchet balls kind of um at the uh, the elbow and the wrist same thing the hands are in a holding gun type of both of them are like that of uh, gesture which uh, which is cool so he can hold the pipe well he can uh, hold his uh, his gun and um, he does have a knife as well too i personally like him better with the vest on i think that looks really good and kind of reminds me of where he's at right now in the television series just like uh, just like that, so that's cool. I'll just show you the quickly the little uh, revolver or sidearm he comes with, and it does fit really nicely into the uh, the pouch here for it. So that's cool. And then there's a knife there as well, which is really small, which I think came with the governor as well too. I think so. This one's a bugger to get out. There we go. Okay, so the knife. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty cool. And it does sheet. It fits in the sheath really nice. The sheath is this weird. I don't know. It's a. It's it's got this top piece, and you kind of slide it down in, and it holds it in really well. It looks it looks good. It hides pretty much the whole thing. It just looks black afterwards. So, uh, very cool. So in terms of to give you a size between him and uh, Maggie, uh, it's good. Maggie is just their feet together. Maggie is just a bit smaller, a bit shorter than him, but very close back to back. If you guys see there. Yeah, very close to the same height, which is perfect, just how you want it. And he is a little bit shorter than Rick, so I'll change the the focus back. A little bit shorter than Rick. So uh, in terms of the Glenn figure, this is this for me for the character is the definitive one to get uh, over the comic book series version. I am a big fan of Glenn. I think he's an awesome character. He's been around since the start. Uh, I think I left him out on my top ten list of the, my favorite characters, but um, I may want to reconsider that because he he is a really cool character and he should definitely be uh, at least close to the list. Such a good character and. I'm uh, really enjoying the arc right now in the television series between him and Tara Abraham and the rest trying to find uh, trying to find Maggie. So uh, for the pair, I mean, I think it's uh, I think it's a, it's a good buy. I got this one for 15 bucks here in Canada, and uh, you know to go with Maggie, you know can't go wrong. So in terms of a score for Glenn, I'm going to give him a uh, eight and a half out of ten. I think he's a great figure. They did a good job with him, and uh, he's a great addition to the Walking Dead line. He's, he, he's a core character that's been there since the very beginning, the second episode of the series. So you're going to want to have a Glenn. And definitely, if you get a Maggie, I think you're going to want to have a Glenn. And the, the two of them just go together really well, really, really well. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the Glenn figure. First review from uh, the new uh, series, TV series of uh, figures. Uh, I'll post the second review probably for Maggie tomorrow or the next day and Tyrese the day after that. Those are the only ones I'm getting from this wave. Uh, skipping the zombies, uh, just don't really have space, don't really have room for them. Anyway, it's pretty much all i got to say for this one. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trap. As always, same peace.